Hey, Dr. AJ here. If you are iron deficient, it can be really difficult to raise your ferritin levels. It's very important to get your ferritin levels up so you can have more energy, feel better overall, and function at your highest level. So in this video, I'm gonna give you three tips to help you absorb iron more effectively. Of course, you should work with your doctor on this and follow his advice. I'm not your doctor and this is not medical advice, but will hopefully give you a better understanding of how you can help your body absorb more iron. First, let's talk about two different kinds of iron supplements, non-heme iron and heme iron. Non-heme supplements are the most common iron supplements out there. They're cheap, they're easy to find. They're also the most commonly recommended by doctors. A few examples of this kind of iron supplement are ferrous sulfate, ferrous glucon gluconate, ferrous fumarate, and non-heme iron comes mostly from plant sources, but can, be also, can also be found in meat. Non-heme iron can raise your iron levels if you're iron deficient, anemic, or have low ferritin levels, but it can be a difficult supplement to take effectively. This is because many things will block the absorption of non-heme iron, like calcium, so milk, yogurt, coffee, tea, wine, uh, whole grains, chocolate, cheese, beer, leafy greens, eggs, nuts, seeds, beans, and certain medications and supplements like thyroid meds, antacids, and magnesium. So non-heme iron also comes with some side effects like nausea, constipation, upset stomach, heartburn, and other symptoms. For this reason, some people need to start slow and work up to a little higher dose. Heme iron, on the other hand, comes mainly from animal sources. It has some advantages in that it is more easy for the body to absorb, has, has fewer side effects, and in most people it does not cause digestive or abdominal discomfort. You can get it from meat, but they are but there are now heme iron supplements available. So another advantage is that it's not as easily blocked, so you can take it with or without food. It doesn't require vitamin C, although you do still have to watch your calcium intake when you take this supplement. Okay, now three things you can do to raise your ferritin levels or iron storage levels more effectively with supplements so you can have more energy, better health, and feel better overall if you're iron deficient. And keep in mind, these three recommendations are mostly for non-heme iron supplements because this is probably what you already have in your cupboard if you're trying to improve your ferritin levels. Okay, number one, take your iron first thing in the morning. Your body is actually more effective at, at absorbing iron earlier in the day because later in the day, your body produces more hepcidin. Hepcidin is a hormone that can actually block the absorption of iron. So it's, impor it's an important hormone, it does good things for our bodies, but it doesn't mix well with iron. So the best time to take your iron supplements are first thing in the morning, and in the early afternoon. This actually applies to both heme and non-heme iron supplements. Number two, take your iron with vitamin C. Non-heme iron supplements require a more acidic environment to be absorbed effectively. This should also help reduce some of the negative side effects that can affect you when taking non-heme iron, like nausea, constipation, abdominal discomfort. And luckily, vitamin C is good for you anyway, but the two work really well together. Number three, take your non-heme iron supplement on an empty stomach. This can be really hard for some people, especially since you're supposed to take it in the morning and because coffee and tea, eggs and grains can block absorption. These are a big part of a lot of people's morning routine, but to effectively raise your ferritin levels, this is really important. So take your iron one hour before eating or two hours after a meal. Non-heme iron absorption is blocked by a lot of foods, so make sure you follow this one. If you follow these three tips, you'll have a lot more success at raising your ferritin levels and improving your symptoms of iron deficiency, but you have to be consistent. It can still take many months to raise your ferritin levels, but there's no better time to start than now. And if you wanna do it the easy way, I recommend getting a heme iron supplement. There's one I like a whole lot. It's the one I'm having my wife take to raise her ferritin levels. You don't have to worry about taking it on an empty stomach. It doesn't have all the side effects that, uh, that non-heme supplements have on the and, and the body absorbs it much more effectively. I'll put an Amazon link in the video description. Thanks for watching, have a great day, and stay strong.